Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Friends, please watch the video till the end. Because uh, if you skip the video, you may miss some content or if I change any solution, you may, you may miss that. So do watch the full video. So this is week, week 4 assignment of database management system course. So friends, I hope uh, most of the solutions are correct. Actually, uh, I have uploaded it very uh, late because uh, to get uh, to find all the answers, most accurate answers. So I don't want to give you some random answers. So at least I will try to give you the most probable answers. So let's see the first question. So consider the relation schema course assignments. So they have given some functional dependencies. So they are asking which of the following is not a prime attribute. So for this the correct answer is option C question type. Guys many people are giving uh, wrong answers uh, to just get views but I don't want to say uh, these are 100% correct so I have mentioned it probable most probable answers but I hope majority of the answer may be correct except one or two questions I think so guys if you uh, want to suggest me any corrections regarding what solutions I have give you can please uh, do that in the comment section every suggestion uh, is very important to get the correct output so guys uh, if you know the exact answer rather than what I have given you can please uh, do comment in the comment section so we'll try to give the best solution to our viewers so for first question the answer is C and moving on to the second one so consider the relational schema file repo so they have given some attributes with the following dependent functional dependencies these two are functional de dependencies so which of the following decomposition is of file repo is looseless I mean lossless so guys actually uh, uh, for this solution I am a little I have having little bit doubt so I think the C is the probable answer but I am not sure about this question if you know the exact answer please suggest me in the comment section I think for first question definitely C will be the answer and for second question most probably C will be the answer I am not sure about this like what I am sure about first question so I hope C is the answer for second question moving on to the third question consider the relation schema course assessments so they have given three functional dependencies so they are asking what is the canonical cover of F so guys uh, when I did this I have got the correct answer for third question as option A so I have uh, got the directly first option so I am sure about uh, option A I think most probable answer is option A only uh, uh, for second question I am, I am having little bit doubt for third question I am, I am almost sure that A is the answer so I am marking A as the correct answer for third question and moving on to the fourth one <coughs> consider the relation schema game repo so they have given again three functional dependencies they are asking the possible number of super keys of game repo so guys uh, when I did this I got the exact answer for this so for fourth question what I have got is option A guys only uh, for few questions I am having doubt and remaining I am confident about that so for this my answer is option A so mark first option whichever I feel doubt I will uh, directly say that I have doubt regarding that particular question when it arrives consider the relation fig with the following functional dependencies and they have given three functional dependencies so that uh, if figure if figure means here the schema so it is decomposed into two tables fig1 and fig2 so which of the following is are not true so for fifth question also I am having little bit doubt so for fifth question 
I think option A is correct. Guys, all these solutions are probable answers. Uh, please use it for reference purpose. So to so to compare your answer with this answers. So I think A is the answer for fifth question. Moving on to the sixth one. Consider the relation schema game repo. So here they are asking highest normal form of game repo. So guys, I have got uh, when I did this, I got the answer exactly. So for sixth questions, I think option A, one and a half is the answer because these three are not possible. So I have got answer A. So mark option A for sixth question. And moving on to the seventh one. Consider the relation fig. Uh, they are they have given three functional dependencies. They are asking which of the following is true. For this question also, I have got the answer. So for seventh question, I have got option C. It has three candidate keys and it is in three NF. So mark option C. And moving on to the eighth question. Consider the instance of the relation food. Guys, for this, uh, there is no particular uh, concept to know about that because we know that generally functional dependencies. So, if these two are provided, then we can automatically uh, say that it will be derived from the first one. I mean, if x goes to y, it means that by using x we can uh, find out the value of i or we can derive the value of y so with that small logic i am prepared for uh, this eighth question answer so for eighth question i have got two answers option b and option c so because if we know the restaurant and price we can uh, tell we can uniquely identify dish name you can also compare that because if you know the restaurant name and the price so italium and 500 is unique in this table with uh, no no such pair exist like this so we can directly say it is pasta so and for restaurant and dish name so if you uh, take samosa and roy roy sweets we can directly determine price 20 so you can uniquely identify the price by using dish name combined so option B and C could be the answers. And moving on to the ninth question. Guys, for this question also, you can apply the similar logic. But here extra they have given risotto 250 and Italian as dish name, price and restaurant names respectively. So for this, they are asking which cannot be the possible candidate key. So, so I have got again B and C are answers because restaurant and price combinedly can we cannot uh, identify anything uniquely because restaurant and price name if you see that here 250 and italian and here also 250 and italian exist so we cannot uniquely identify particular dish name so it is not possible candidate key and similarly restaurant and dish name here restaurant and dish name so if you if you see Uh, Italian and pasta here we have got price 500 here they are asking not possible candidate key so restaurant and dish name Italian and pasta we cannot get that so this is also not the possible candidate key Sorry guys, there is some small correction here. By using option C, we can determine right because it is a possible candidate key because restaurant and dish name. By using restaurant and dish name, we can clearly uh, identify the unique items because if you compare pasta and Italian, uh, there is no combination exist because Italian but it is not uh, pasta and farista and pasta only single unique combination italian and mud cake unique combination 
gupta snacks and samosa it is also unique combination so it is also not the answer actually these three are not the answers so the only answer is option b so i am marking option b as the probable answer for ninth question guys don't get confused actually it's uh, so option b is the only answer i have got and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th question consider the following relation so the schema name is clothes shop and they have given attributes there are two functional dependencies according to the rule of pseudo transitivity which of the following functional dependence dependencies can be derived so guys if you see that if you know the cloth type so suppose let's compare the options c color by using the c color we can derive uh, the shop id is it correct or not let's see so in this functional second functional dependency in order to find the shop id we should know both the designer and also the color so then only we can find shop id so it is not the correct answer and second option cloth type and c color we can identify shop id so cloth type and c color can we identify that because cloth type gives c color only and you can also taking the c color as pair how it is possible to get shop id because you you should need both designer also so this is also not the correct one along with first one so if you see the third option cloth type and designer can derive shop id you can see designer and cloth color by what we can get cloth color by using cloth type so if we have the cloth type along with the designer we can get the shop id so c is the probable option for 10th question so mark option c so guys i have clearly explained how i got the answers so hope this video is helpful for you so in order to get these solutions it took me long time to provide the solutions so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please keep supporting our channel subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends if you want to suggest me any corrections you are uh, always invited to do, do that so please ask me in the comment section or you can suggest answers in the comment section so these are my probable uh, solutions so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then goodbye thank you